Welcome to part two of Mega Man X5, and in this episode, we're going to be going after our first Maverick. But first, notice the hour of collisions. It went down from 16 to 9. Well, see, here's the thing. I kept dying at Squid Adler stage to purposely lower it down to 10. I foolishly grabbed 0 instead of X. What I was trying to do was get the weapon saver. Which is basically one of the parts that you can only get on normal and hard if you beat this stage as, as X. Now, if I would have actually reduced it down to 11 hours it came to this stage and beat it, I would have got the shock buffer which would have reduced the damage to half. Now, why am I so adamant about levels and the parts? Well, see, as I said, in normal and extreme, you get a part if you happen to successfully beat the stage. This also has a lot to do with your level. So, the higher your level is, the harder the stage will get. The lower your level is, the easier the stage will get. See what I'm saying? Also, these trucks here destroy the core. That's all you gotta do. That's pretty much to the gist of it of what Alia was trying to say as she stopped me in the middle of gameplay. Yes, I, like I said, get used to it, because Alia will do that a lot. Also, if you're stuck on the truck before time goes up, you're gonna die, plain and simple. Also, the electric cables that happens to be connected to the trucks will kill you if you inadvertently land on them. Damn it, damn it, I did not mean to do that. Alright, anyway, uh... There was something else, and I'm gonna inadvertently die here. Oh! I should have hung off the side of the truck. I would have at least survived. Anyway, um. There is something else here. Every time you come to a stage, you will lose an hour. And the worst part is. If you don't succeed in either the Enigma Cannon or the Shuttle... Uh, well not the Enigma Shuttle. Okay, okay. If you don't succeed in the Enigma Cannon, which is the first thing... Because if you don't succeed in the Shuttle, you pretty much lose the ability to play a Zero permanently. But anyway, if you fail to uh, destroy the colony with the Enigma Cannon, as I die again... Uh, you do realize the countdown will still continue and X5 has it to where you have to get uh, Dr. Light capsules which will get you two different armors instead of one which is a good thing however uh, things are a little bit different as far as the armors are concerned where do I begin with it? Let's be careful. Alright. At least I was able to avoid that one. Anyway, um... <clears throat> Let's get out the way. And I'm gonna stay on this ladder so this thing doesn't kill me. But where was I? Oh yeah. The Dr. Light capsules in this game will need some sort of special weapon in order to get to them. Uh... The thing is about the Dr. Light capsules, you can also use Zero for them. This is the first game that will allow you to do that. And... Oh no! I forgot to grab on the rope! Ah, oh, Christ. That is some nonsense. But anyway, as I was saying, you need to uh, have an ability in order for to get the Dr. Light capsule here. Well, you don't really need to. Also, I was pausing my game so I could stop that lag, stop what's causing the lag in the background of my computer. Anyway, um, now what was I saying as I got caught in this area here full of enemies? Um, oh yeah, now I remember. Zero can use the Dr. Light capsule, but unfortunately, 
Here's the gist about this Dr. Light's capsules. Once you get them, they don't immediately go on to X. In other well, well except for one that's in the one of the final stages of the game. Which is why it honest to god don't matter. Oh and this Oh and on this set of uh trucks, you might want to hurry up before you die. But don't forget the E-take though. It'll be at the end of this stage. Not this one. Oh, and be careful too. There are some state. There are some parts where those screw things will be instant kill. All right, let's get on to. There we go. E take. We're good. And we're safe. We're at the end of the stage. But as I'm saying. You need special ability in order for you to get the E tanks. I mean, uh, Dr. Light tanks. But not only that, you need to get all four Dr. Light tanks before X can even wear the armor. Not only for the Gaia armor, but for the Golem armor as well. The, one of the Gaia armor parts is up here, but Zero will need to beat Grizzly Slash first in order for him to get the armor. That is the main problem with this game. You're going to be backtracking a lot. And God forbid, do not get me started with Duff McWhalen. Oh, also, you may need the jumper part if you're going to do this with X. So, yeah. That's something that needs to be stressed. But primarily, you will need to beat uh, Grizzly Slash in order for to actually get that part. So without further ado, let's beat Grizzly Slash. Oh, and by the way, if I successfully... Well, if I successfully... Clear the Enigma Cannon, I'm gonna go back for all the Dr. Light capsules and everything else I couldn't get. And here's Grizzly Slash. Zero. Seeing you reopens old wounds. You should have that looked after. I don't have time for small talk. Give me the Crystal Ball, spelled C-R-I-S-T-A-L. Grammar! Capcom, seriously. <sighs> anyway, why don't you do what you usually do and force me to? You used to be a maverick, right? That's what I heard, and you destroyed Sigma, didn't you? What? That's old. That's that. What? That old story? If you dare to try to fight me, then I accept your challenge anytime. Anywhere. God, the text is so slow. Anyway, Hunters and Sigma are very sim similar. They're very aggressive and very overconfident. What? We're nothing like that scum. Oh yes, you are. I'm just an arms dealer. But you, you destroy anyone who stands against you. See Iris and Colonel for more details. Now I'm gonna make you pay for what you did to me, Maverick Hunter. In other words, uh, Grizzly Slash ended up receiving a terrible scar at the hands of Zero. And if you happen to look at Grizzly Slash's level, it's level 9. Had I started on uh, hour 16, it would be level 7. So yeah, I'm going for long- oh, goddamn! So yeah, the damage is deadlier. Also, the zero- oh, goddammit. As I was saying, the Z-Blade would have actually- no, the Z-Saber, not Z-Blade, why did I call it that? Anyway, the Z-Saber would actually do some damage. And again, I apologize for failing, I warn you all in advance, I will fail a lot, but not intentionally. Anyway, um, the Z-Saber would do some really good damage to him. As a matter of fact, there's one particular Slash that definitely does a lot of damage and delay the enemy at some point. Ah, oh, come on. He's gonna burrow into the ground, uh, dig in from the ceiling, and he's also going to, uh, like that. Ah, you asshole. Of course. 
And then once he's in his last stages, he's going to start firing bigger crescents. Which are hard to avoid. But that's okay, because Grizzly Slash is done. Now see, if I'd have done this with X, this would have been a lot easier. But that's okay. Zero beat him, and for defeating him, Zero now has the Crescent Slash, which is an attachment to his blade, and a double jump. Although I lost a lot of rank because I game overed, still... Well, I'll get that back when I kick Dynamo's ass. Anyway, uh... Zero actually can uh, do a spinning slash when he double jumps and that crescent uh, attachment will appear. As for X, he gets the crescent shot. Oh, and by the way, if you happen to get some, uh, if you happen to play this on normal and extreme, you have a choice between weapon and life and weapon and energy plus. Get weapon and life. No, no, weapon and life, you idiot. Get weapon and life. Because weapon and energy will only increase your energy that you're using for your weapons. And weapon and life will actually increase your health. In other words, if you're going to play a zero, it's best you get weapon and life because zero won't be able to get most of the heart tanks. So yeah. That's one item down, three more to go. In the next episode, we're going to be dealing with Duff McWhalen. This is Harvey Man 985.